Dragons Do Not Share, a Kids Read Aloud by DJ Panic and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. We both read, taking turns. Here we go. Sam was a dragon who did not want to share. He did not want to share his crayons. He did not want to share his cars. Many little dragons don't like to share. It's just the way they are. Sam did not want to share his books or his building toys old, or his old torn map. Turn the page. One day, Sam's cousin Tess came to visit. Sam's mother asked him to share his toys with her, but Sam said no. On the page. Sam told his mother, dragons never share. His mother said, Sam, that isn't true. Don't I share my hugs with you? Don't I share my books with you? Don't I share my cookies with you? Turn the page. Sam's mother held up a sheet of cookies she was baking and blew a big breath over them instantly baking all the cookies to perfection. Sam's mother gave Sam a small bag of cookies. Turn the page. Would you please take these cookies outside and share them with Tess, said Sam's mother. Sam took the bag and went outside with Tess, but he did not want to share. He ate the whole cookie with one big bite. Then he ate the second cookie with another big bite. Turn the page. Sam did not offer Tess a cookie. Tess didn't say anything, but she looked a little sad. Turn the page. Sam told Tess that he had a new red scooter. Tess smiled and said that her favorite color was red. Turn the page. Sam showed Tess some tricks he could do on his scooter. Tess clapped when he flew off the ground and did a perfect loop. Tess asked Sam if she could have a turn, but Sam said no. Turn the page. Sam told Tess that he didn't want to share. He didn't want to share his cookies. He didn't want to share his scooter. He just didn't want to share. Turn the page. Tess looked even sadder now. She turned her back to Sam, but he could tell that she was starting to cry. Sam began to feel bad. Turn the page. Sorry, Tess, said Sam. I'm not being mean. I just don't want to share. It's okay, Tess replied. I don't need a turn. I brought a book with me, and I think I'd rather read my book. Turn the page. Sam did some more tricks on his scooter but it wasn't as much fun without Tess. Sam took the last cookie from the bag. He was about to eat the cookie with a big bite, but then he thought about Tess. Turn the page. Sam thought about how sad Tess looked. Then he remembered a time when he was sad and his mother helped him feel better. Sam put the cookie back into the bag. Turn the page. Sam found Tess reading her book. There's one more cookie, said Sam. Would you like to eat it? Tess seemed surprised, but said, Thanks, Sam. I would like to have a cookie. Turn the page. Tess broke the cookie in half. 
Take, take it, she said. We can share it. Sam seemed surprised. No, he said. That's nice of you, but I, I, I have already had two cookies. That one is for you. Turn the page. Tess smiled and ate the cookie in two big bites. When she pointed at the holes over all over Sam's yard and said, Why are there so many holes? Turn the page. I've been digging for treasure, Sam answered. I have a treasure map, but it's ripped. I'm missing the part where the treasure is marked with an X. Turn the page. I have part of a map too, exclaimed Tess. She gave her map. She held her map next to Sam's map. The two maps fit together and showed them exactly where to dig. Turn the page. Sam and Tess shared the work of digging at the spot marked with an X. And when they found treasure, they were both very happy to share. And that's the end of our story. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and keep sharing, everybody. Sharing is caring.